Hello everyone, good day to you. Welcome back here. So today in this video, I will show you the simplest way to install the Google Play Store on your Windows PC and laptop. It is the easiest and best method to run Google Play Store apps and games in your Windows. So make sure you watch this video without skipping any part for better clarification. Before we start, please ensure that the virtualization should be enabled from your Windows feature and from the BIOS. So what you have to do, simply click on your Windows search and type control panel and open it. Now go to uninstall a program option in program section. Here you will see the turn windows feature on or off in the left hand side and click it through. Here you will have to look for virtual machine platform and windows hypervisor platform at somewhere bottom down. You have to enable both options here by clicking them and hit ok. After that it will be applying the changes and then it will ask you to restart the computer. So once your computer boots up, the next step is to download some necessary files from the official GitHub page by Microsoft. I will provide the direct link to get access to this website or else you can open any web browser and search for WSA Windows 11 GitHub. Click on the official GitHub page for Windows subsystem for Android WSA by Microsoft. Scroll down and click on the WSA Builds hyperlink. Choose the correct build based on your device type and windows version, stable or pre-release. It means whichever windows version and operating system you are using, you can go through your computer properties to know more. I will download the stable builds for my windows 11 computer on a 64-bit operating system as per my system specification. It will redirect to a download page as shown here. There will be various versions of windows subsystem for android like with or without emission app stores with or without Google Play Store and services, with kernel or Magisk manager included for root access. Now what you have to do, scroll down to the bottom of the page and under asset section click on the first link to download Windows subsystem for Android with inclusive Google Play Store and removed Amazon Store. Once you click on it, the downloading will be started. And it is around 646 MB size which will take some time to download this zip. Once finished. Open the download folder and you need to extract it. I would recommend you to use the 7z software to unzip this file because I faced an error like this when I was normally unzipping it or using WinRAR. So right click on it and click on show more options and go to 7zip option and make sure to extract the files in document folders only otherwise it will not work. Then click on browse to choose the location in documents folder and click ok. Then again click OK to extract the files. Now the extracting will be started and it will again take few seconds. And once extracted, you will be getting this kind of WSA folder. Open this folder and here you will find a bunch of files. You will have to look for a file here by the name run.bat. That is a windows batch file. Double click on this file. And if you get a security pop-up just click on more info and then click on run anyway. The command prompt will be open to begin the installation process. Now just sit back and let it install the necessary files. And if you ever get any kind of diagnostic pop-up, just check the message and click on continue. Or in case here, if you get any kind of error that says like virtualization is not enabled, then probably you have not enabled the virtualization from the BIOS. So you will have to go to the BIOS and enable it. I have already created a simple video on how you can enable virtualization in the BIOS. You can see the link provided here in the i button or in the description below. When the installation process is over, it will automatically open up and ask you to sign in to the Google account. After signing in, let's quickly set up the Windows subsystem for Android for advanced features. Locate the same in Windows search and launch it. Now proceed to the advanced settings and then activate the developer mode. Click on manage developer settings which will open a developer settings interface like that of an Android phone. If a pop-up appears, select allow and grant access to both public and private network for the windows subsystems. Return to the WSA settings page, specifically under experimental features, enable only the share user folders option as shown. In the next step, navigate to the windows focus and choose the independent option. Confirm the changes and setup is now complete. Let's check if the play store is working correctly. Go to your windows search and type play store and you will be getting play store application so click on it and google play store will now be open up 
you can click on the app section you can click on the games books and whatever you want to install you can simply install it from here for example if i want to install any game like bgmi so i will click on it and then i will click on install and the installation will now be started and once it will be installed if i click on play so you will see the game is now coming up give your google account access to sign in here and also if i want to install any other games like 8 pool ball or ludo i can enjoy any game from here similarly you can go back and you can install any android applications from here so that's it hopefully you guys will find this video really helpful if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment section below do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one